A Nigerian artist based in the United States has rendered the 17 goals of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals in a visual form that drives home the problem confronting Nigerians. The works by Kehinde Dada have grown global acclaim, and the United Nations has dedicated four days to showcasing the 48-piece artistic development effort in an exhibition tagged Sustainable Development Goals Art Exhibition. The works themed with the Nigerian culture and social challenges simplifies each of the SDGs, focusing on women and children in the throes of poverty, climate change, gender equality, and education amongst others. Dada said the main beneficiaries of the UN SDGs are Nigerians back at home, but he believed not many of them understand what SDGs are about. They are the one that's supposed to be the beneficiary of this. But unfortunately, not many of us understand what they are doing. And if you don't understand what they are doing, there's no way you can step into it and be part of it. So I need to translate it to a language that it's been universally accepted and they can easily understand. And that's what really pushed me or inspired me in that direction. The artist introduces his artworks to guests. His inspiration has now become infectious. According to permanent representative of Morocco to the United Nations, Ambassador Omar Halali, the Socio-Economic Development Committee of the UN and other stakeholders in the SDGs have equally been inspired by Dada's work to step up action in achieving the set goals. I commend the permanent mission of Nigeria to the United Nations and the Consulate General of Nigeria for this exhibition to inspire action for sustainable development goals through art. I'm sure that this exemplary art exhibition showcases original and colorful paintings of the same artist King Dada will inspire us to step up action for SDGs. This year is critical year for the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and it is 17 and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals. With the end of the first cycle of the High Level Political Forum for Sustainable Development, HSBF, we will complete the review of all SDGs and we will review our overall progress in the implementation of the 2030 Agenda at the SDG Summit next September, inshallah. The permanent representative of Nigeria to the United Nations and General Assembly President-elect Ambassador Tijani Bande says the exhibition was organized to advance the SDGs. What we want to do is to really show how not only the problems from around the world who are here, well represented, but several others are also doing what is possible from their own perspective to see that the sustainable development goals are kept alive and well. The Consulate Generals in the Nigerian Embassy in New York says the works represented the SDG's goals and it is very important to the Nigerian mission. It was very clear, it was very vivid, it, the impression was strong and I think this is uh, the way to go. Uh, if this explanation that is done today through the arts work of um, this artist is uh, painted all along in the minds of everyone, in the long run, we we'll all come to accept the, the SDGs and tomorrow we are sure of achieving them by the year 2030. That is what the, the agenda of the, P, the, the His Excellency, the PGA, is all about inclusivity, climate action, poverty eradication, health, and all the facets of the SDGs. And that is why this, the beginning of this work of art here, this exhibition, is so important to us. 
as a mission, as a country, that we, Nigeria, is using the arts to showcase the SDG. The curator of the exhibition, Patrick Akimbola, said he was really excited and proud to be a Nigerian. Obviously elated, as you can imagine. And you know, coming in the heels of the appointment of Ambassador Tijani as the president of the assembly at this time, representing Nigeria, you see how this really forms a high point for us as a nation. And by looking at the works as represented, you can see the international quality. While well, admitted, it is a trying time for Nigerians as a people of color in the U.S. He still encouraged Nigerians to take pride in Dada's feet. Uh, these are trying times, and we as people of color, we are being undermined in many different fronts. So having an exhibition like this take place in the, uh, the pavilion of the world as represented by this building is obviously something that any Nigerian should feel very proud of. And I'm delighted to have been a part of it as well. The four-day exhibition was organized by the Nigerian Permanent Mission to the United Nations in collaboration with the Nigerian Consulate in New York and Landmark Creations.